It just makes you instantly happier. Maybe I'll try it on for you. After one and a half year of vlogging, I still didn't figure out the settings. Congratulations. No makeup, makeup look that takes two hours to do. Why not? <laughs> I'm excited to see. Spice some margaritas, sushi, music, chill talks. Hello guys, welcome to another vlog with me. So happy to see you here on my channel. I love to see that my channel is growing. Somebody's calling the door. One second. Yes, who is that? Oh yes, one second. Okay guys, it's my breakfast delivery. I was literally with empty fridge this morning. So I was like, okay, I don't have time to cook. I'll just order a little like chia parfait. One of those days. Okay guys, got my chia parfait, which I love so much. And it's actually pretty easy to make by yourself, but you kind of have to make it in advance. And in advance, a little hard sometimes, you know, you don't think sometimes in advance. Anyway, yesterday I went with girls for Sunset Cruise, which was super cool. And I don't know if I just told you, I feel like I have to maybe make a little boat tour but we got this little day boat with my husband which is super cool to have in Miami because I always said to my husband Miami uncovers from like complete another side when you have a boat it's like you see the city from another side from another perspective and you just have a different feeling I don't know it's just a different experience it's like an addition to Miami that is already so perfect so really cool and my husband like has a boating license so which is super convenient because we can literally park the boat outside our house and and jump on it and have like an hour sunset cruise which is super cool what a great city like so many people have an access to water here even like I see if you live in apartment buildings like a lot of apartment buildings have a little marinas where they have like kayaki and paddle boards and jet ski so like I feel like in Miami a lot of people have access to the water and it's just so great like even if you don't live by the water you can always go to a public beach and enjoy the beach and I feel like having this element in your city it just makes you instantly happier if it makes sense anyway Anyway, yesterday we had a sunset cruise with a little spicy margaritas, sushi, music, chill talks. We were literally so exhausted and tired yesterday. Anyway, on another note, I need to tell you guys what I'm eating. It's a chia parfum. It's basically overnight chia. Then there is a mango mousse, I think, and homemade granola, which is absolutely delicious. So I'm kind of filming today like an ordinary vlog for you. You see, I'm also looking very ordinary, literally. Just roll out of bed. So I kind of wanted to film today in the wrapping of PR boxes. As you know, as an influencer, even so I don't like this word that what most of the influencers say, but I really don't like this word. I don't know what's, what would you call it yourself? I mean, content creating kind of sounds better because you create content, I guess, for people to be useful and maybe sometimes also entertaining. So I kind of like the content creation world more than influencer because I feel like influencer always, for me, the influencer word is always parallel to obviously influence and influence parallel to me is like to something bad. I don't know why. I feel like you're pushing people to be certain way. Like you influence people, right? And I just don't like that word. I always say, especially on those comments where they say that I'm responsible for promoting certain things and I should be careful. I always say I share things that I love, but each person that view the content, any content, my content or some other content, have to have their own hat on their shoulders, their own logic, hopefully, and implement things on themselves, the one that fits them. I'm not responsible for any one. The only person you're responsible for is yourself. So this is just my blog, right? I'm not an expert on certain things. I'm just sharing things that work for me. For So consuming my content, you should always obviously, you know, process it and evaluate it if things that I recommend for myself will work for you as well. But anyway, how did I even get there? <laughs> We're having a pair of boxes today. Oh yeah. Since a content creator, a lot of brands always send us stuff. And a lot of times I actually ask the brands if I can pick items myself because I hate when they send stuff, even so I'm grateful. But I feel like it's not even like sustainable to send stuff that I'm never gonna use. And then I like, I don't know where to put in my house or, you know, I have to give it away. And obviously it's just like more work, but I'm excited for this ones because I think it's all the things that I'm kind of pre-approved and pre-choose. So I don't know if you guys wanna do a little unwrapping because I feel like you do like to see this unwrapping videos so here it is let's go first my friend from singapore sent me this cutest pajamas with little squirrels and have like a little bit of a dior vibe for allegra and then has a matching pajama for me how cute is that so adorable i can't wait to wear it so thoughtful of my friends next one i feel like i need a better light honestly this is so bad 
Okay guys, I actually figured it out. My camera setting was on the wrong thing. After one and a half year of vlogging, I still didn't figure out the settings. Congratulations. Okay, so my friend sent me Valeria Olibovetsky, the one that you always tell me we're sisters that we look like, that we're twins. So she sent me those sunnies from her brand. You know, like we don't look similar enough. Now we're gonna have the same sunnies. So nobody can recognize it at all. They'll all think we're the same person, literally. Love them, look, they're like a clear frames. I think they're like a gold, no, that's not gold. This is more like a silvery, silvery gold, in between silver and gold. I kind of like this color because it's gonna fit both. A really cool one, cool shape. And then I also got a bunch of Aging Mature products, their new line, love their products, you know that. I've been partnering for that with them for a while. Also, I got, I think, a bunch of sandals from Carnetti Sandals. It's an Italian brand, actually. And I'm in love with the sandals because they're super easy and it's like very easy to pair them with dresses. And since we're going to St. Bart next week, I thought it's like a great addition to my wardrobe to have the gold. Is it gladiator sandals? Not gladiator sandals, kind of, right? So actually this was a pair I personally picked. So I kind of knew that this is coming. I think they sent me two extra ones, which I didn't pick, but I'm excited to see. I guess they decided to surprise me, but honestly, I love all of their sandals, so I'm sure I'm gonna like it as well. It's basically the same model, but um, in black color. That's cool. I kind of like this solid black, complete black without any details. I feel like it's good if you have some like busy prints to just throw this kind of like simple sandal. Oh, really, really cool. Love that one. Next one. Oh, that's cool. Beige. This is a different style with a little like space for your foot. Let me try it on. I also like that their sandals are pretty like, they make kind of for a narrow, narrow foot. And they also, a lot of sandals that they have are adjustable. You can like pull the strings and they get like kind of tighter, which I also appreciate because you don't want your sandals to be big. And I feel like those straps sandals is always pain to find the one that actually will fit your foot so it looks like this look at this i love them such a good like basic sandal that just will go with everything feel like a barefoot literally so next one is the set linen set oh my god i'm so obsessed with it already i love a good like basic black set that i can just throw on if i go to a kid's park to take allegra after school and i feel like a linen is such a miami material i hope it's the right size i feel like they always send me extra small because they think i'm extra small and i'm not extra small i'm small it looks quite tiny but i hope i'll still fit it and if i don't i see there is a space that i can re-sew the hook and just loose it up a little bit i'm obsessed it has like a wide pants look you see it Approved. Going with me to vacation. Oh my god, guys, yes. I did not make my bed yet. One of those mornings. Oh, I feel like there's more. My God, I was dreaming about this stuff for so long. I actually saw it in the store in Miami and I was so close to actually buy it. But then this brand reached out to me and I was like, that's meant to be. Send it my, my way. Look at this top, has a little tassels. I'm not gonna be able to put it on right away now because I remember it's quite complicated to put on. But anyway, the idea is you basically have it crisscross, I think. Literally, I'll need a drink to like figure it out. But basically the idea is that it's like this. Ugh. This is a perfect example for things being beautiful but not very practical, but anyway. It's worth it. It's basically like this with top crisscross tassels and it has sequins. I feel like with leather pants, with even jeans will look so bomb, but gives like a little vintage Moulin Rouge vibes. Super obsessed with this one. So this is this top. I'm sure you're gonna be asking, so I will like give you ahead of time. It's called Eat MF Official. Okay guys, anyway, I'll just write it here so you can see it because I can't pronounce this bread. Okay, 
this next one. It's this beautiful like dresses that they make. It's very like boho style, made out of this kind of cotton, is it cotton material? Very like tulum. You put it like on top of the bikini. I need to obviously iron it and figure it out how to put it on. But the idea is that it's basically like a loose dress. Love that one. And I feel like it will be perfect for like summer in Mykonos. Hopefully next summer we're gonna make it to Mykonos again. And I feel like this dress will be like exactly what I need there, you know? Okay, next one. Ooh, love that one. They have this cool brand that's called Paola Bernardi and it's made in Brazil. And they make this like knitted, is it knitted? Knitted dresses, goes like tight on your body. I feel like it's such an easy, and it has an open back right here. And I feel like it has, it's gonna be such an like easy dress to put on during summer. My cat is cut. Maybe I'll try it on for you. I'm really obsessed with this one. I feel like those dresses are so tricky because they can make you kind of look big, like this type of knitted dresses. But this one is so well sought. It has like a beautiful detailing here, which is, I think, so nice that they have this like kind of underneath top effect and the straps that you can just put it down and up. It makes it look like sexy. Then they have a cuts on the side, which makes the waist obviously thinner. It's like an illusion. And then they also have those things here. Excuse my black underwear. That goes like this, which also kind of shapes you in a very flattering way. Let me see if I can give you like a full view. So something like this. And best for last, I have this Israeli brand that I love so much and I actually made a friend with a girl who owns the brand and she sent me always the most beautiful things for vacations and I have such a beautiful set of things here that I already prepped for my vacation. Look at this. This bikini has like a shell bra, the brand called uh, Shiny Shimmer. And they have like a skirt that you can put on on top of the bikini. So if you want to go to the beach, then I have a gold bikini. And if you know me, you know I have a soft spot for gold bikinis, for like a champagne color bikinis. I just feel like it looks so good on tan skin and blonde hair. And then we have this blue, blue situation. It's basically a beautiful one set with like three buckles here. And then there is a kind of dress cover up, which is so chic. Anyway, guys, this is it. This is pretty much it. This is my unwrapping of PR packages came to the end. I hope you enjoyed it. It's actually the first time I've done it. So let me know what you think. Oh, anyway, the next steps uh, for the day will be just to organize my room that looks like a mess. I have also called for my taxes Ugh, the least favorite thing to do and i have also a work event i have to go to later so i will definitely take you along to like get ready and go to event with me that's it guys let me do my stuff my not so glamorous stuff and i'll be right back here funny looking braids because I have a job today, a photo shoot, and the hairstylist uh, last night texted me that he wants me to braid my hair on like a dumped hair because my hair is pretty straight so I guess he wanted to like give me a real texture of like a beachy kind of wave but honestly I'm doubting that it's gonna work because my hair is so straight that not even this I think is gonna work. Let's see. I mean I think he's still planning to like add some sort of wave with a hair tool but i think just the base texture he wanted to have this little wave i woke up today at seven o'clock in allegra usually wake up at like 7 15 so i was hoping to like spend time a little with her in the morning because usually she wakes up at 7 15 but i let her go out of her room at like 7 40 because i want to have a little extra <laughs> extra 20 30 minutes of sleep and anyway she doesn't mind it she like reads a book does her thing in the morning but of course today on the day when i actually woke up early and i was like i could like get her ready a little earlier she's asleep i don't know last night she couldn't fall asleep for so long she was like running out of a room making 
sort of excuses why she ran out of the room but um but yeah she's still asleep so i'm waiting for her to wake up and for javier the, my hair and makeup guy to arrive i love javier we always work on the same jobs and also i take him a lot for my personal like events and my jobs that i take so he's my favorite and i'm so excited he's here today with me it's gonna be a fun day as always when we're shooting on the beach uh, outside in bikinis it's gonna be cold day here it is it's not the warmest day but let's hope it's gonna warm up a little okay here we are javier with his wagon of <laughs> tools <laughs> to make this, you know, no makeup, makeup look like we like, that takes two hours to do, right? Yeah. It's like no makeup, makeup look that takes two hours to do, why not? <laughs> Just woke up like this looking beautiful. Well, guys, I woke up like this, okay? And what you see after the no makeup, makeup thing is just a lot of work of professional, okay? <laughs> and some extra hair for sickness. Even so, I consider to have like, I don't know, I think I have hair, no? Yeah, for like yeah, every day I have hair, but for the photo shoot you don't want a little extra. A little extra is nice. Huh? A little extra volume is nice. Yes, a little extra volume is always nice. I'm having a little chia pudding. I actually got yesterday two of them because I knew I'm having a photo shoot this morning so I don't have to worry what I have to eat and I always like to have the healthy options so I can avoid eating some things that's gonna make me sleepy. Because And also I'm shooting, you know, bikinis today. <laughs> I don't want my stomach to be bloated or you know what I mean? So a healthy foods is a goal this morning. I'm having my today almond no today is pistachio milk cappuccino because I finished my almond milk and lots of water as always and here we are ready to start. Allegra is still sleeping, can you imagine that? Hey guys, look at this volume, look at this volume, look at this volume, I just want to keep going like this the whole day. Literally like a lion. <laughs> just wish to have that much hair. Those are not my hair. This is a lot of extensions. It just feels so good. <laughs> okay, we are continuing with makeup. Javier did some skincare for me, so let's go. Okay guys, since I'm sitting here and we're doing makeup, I asked Javier to give us few tips on how to achieve like a really good glowy skin where it's like this no makeup makeup look that is like, you know what I mean? Like exactly the trend that we see now on TikTok and Instagram where it's just like you have this transparent glowy skin. And I feel like Javier is really the best one at this. And he gave us three tips, maybe four. <laughs> anyway, first uh, step he said, it's cleansing. You have to go to the bathroom and cleanse your face well with your favorite cleanser remove all the oils that you have exfoliate your face well then he always does usually a mask for me an eye mask or any sort of mask that will moisturize your face after that he uh, go and put moisturizer your favorite moisturizer on that looks good under makeup and the one step I noticed that I personally never do he basically when he applies foundation he put foundation and this one is like a primer a luminizing primer I mean there is so many on the market this one is from Actimen and basically when he applies product on my face he always mix those bows at the same time so you kind of mix two products together and he explained me this gives you this like transparent glowy effect which I personally can never achieve I mean I, I think I'm pretty good at makeup but he's like especially good at skin and this is one tip that I personally will take a note and will try to implement myself because I personally never do this this step and I think this is what helps to achieve this kind of glowy no makeup makeup skin I hope it helps okay guys this is the final look looks amazing fresh glowy just exactly how I want to look every single day <laughs> we are getting ready Javier has to wrap up his kit and actually we have a uh, first quarter of a day we are shooting on a boat uh, so we're uh, meeting the rest of the team in the marina which is 10 minutes away from my home and then we're gonna be shooting on the beach as well another half of the day I'm super happy that the weather kind of stabilized and the Sun came out so it's not gonna be as freezing as I thought it's gonna be let's go So we arrived to Marina and how exciting we're gonna shoot on this vintage 
vintage looking boat. I kind of predicted that we're gonna shoot on a vintage looking boat, but look how cool it is. So we just were talking with the captain and he was like, good luck to you because the sea is quite rough out there. So, and I don't think the client knows, but I'm easily getting seasick. So pray for me, I won't be seasick in five minutes. Guys, this is Mario. Hola. He's a photographer behind the mastermind behind the shoot he was just giving me some inspiration and the concept of the shoot so i will know what i'm doing he said he also have a dinghy so he's going to be shooting from like far away so he can, you can get the whole perspective of a boat which is cool so far it doesn't look as rough as i was thinking it's going to be because i was telling them i'm, I'm easily seasick so i was like pray for me that i'm not really? going to be seasick in five minutes oh i didn't know that but but look, it's not gonna be like so. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Too bad, I've been sticking out your mind. I can have a rock from behind. I'm not exchanging how you're taking all my time. That's right, can you take it out of the night? Too bad, I've been sticking out your mind. We're easy, man. Amazing. I look crazy, I'm sure. My hair is like, feels like oh, everywhere. All over the place. We're on our second location, which is on the beach. I honestly never been to this beach. It's called Virginia Keys. It doesn't look like Miami a lot a lot it looks like I don't know a little bit like Bahamas and the beauty of it there's no one here so we can actually shoot in peace I'm wearing this cute bikini with raspberries this is our look number seven eight more to go Guys, all we needed is a snake and here it is. That's crazy. 